Welcome to the Royal Kitchens at Kew. Untouched for 200 years, now brought back to life and open to the public for the very first time. A unique survival. They were used to cook the meals for King George III. And we've taken three Georgian recipes and adapted them just enough for your modern kitchen. On the 6th of February, 1789, George III was considered well enough to eat with a knife and fork once again, after one of his well-known periods of illness. These are some of the dishes that were served to him on that very day. This is a dish of steaks of mutton smoured in a frying pan, smoured meaning covered or browned. It's a light, refreshing dish and with an almost Mediterranean flavour. It's good for a main course or an alternative Sunday lunch. Cut steaks from a leg of mutton, about half an inch thick, or you can get yours ready cut. Today, mutton isn't as common as lamb, but it was far more popular in the past. Coming from an older sheep, it has a richer flavour. You'll also need half a bunch of parsley, a couple of lemons, two ounces of butter, and about half a bottle of white wine. You can download the recipe from georgiancookery.com. First, we're going to make the garnish, as this takes time to infuse. Take a lemon and score it lengthwise like this. And then remove every other strip to give a crenellated effect. Cut into very thin slices. Take out the pips and then lay them on a plate and then sprinkle them with sugar and cinnamon. Lemons would have been imported from the Mediterranean, but there was an entire farm growing food here at Kew and a range of local suppliers. My favourite was a man named Savage Bear, a purveyor of roots and herbs, or a greengrocer to you and me. And if you visit the Royal Kitchens here at Kew, you can always see his receipts on display upstairs. Add the steaks to a hot frying pan cooking for about 10 or 15 minutes depending on how rare you like your meat. And add the wine and the lemons and a good quantity of butter, one to two ounces and then simmer for five to ten minutes. Whilst the mutton is simmering, chop the parsley and fry it in butter until wilted, but not too crispy, and then add this to the mixture. To serve, add the steaks onto a plate, cover with the sauce, and then top with the dressed lemons. These are best eaten first, as they're very refreshing, a bit like a sorbet to cleanse your palate. Mutton pan fried and smoured, for a complete meal, it's probably best with a few green beans or potatoes, or just rice salad. For more Georgian cook-along videos, to download these recipes, and to find out about visiting these unique surviving kitchens for yourself, visit georgiancookery.com.